25 years. Welcome back. The family of a man with Utah ties shot and killed in Florida is speaking out. Nearly a year ago, 33 year old Jared Bridegan was killed in front of his two year old daughter. Now, although the suspect is in custody, please don't believe he acted alone. This new fact leaving the family on edge. ABC's Trevor Alt has that story. A suspect now charged with killing 33 year old Microsoft executive and father of four, Jared Bridegan. This was a planned and targeted ambush and murder. Authorities say last February, Bridegan had just dropped off two of his children with their mother, his ex-wife, Shanna Gardner Fernandez. On his way home with his two-year-old daughter in the back seat, they say this tire blocked the road. And when he stopped, presumably to move it, he was suddenly gunned down in cold blood. Nothing was stolen from him. His two-year-old daughter remained strapped in the car seat in the back. Bridegan's widow Kirsten says she, her family, and her children are devastated, especially her young daughter who witnessed this horrifying crime. My daughter Bexley has separation anxiety. She's fearful for my life. She's fearful that mom's not coming back. And that rips me apart. Like She should not have to have that fear. After nearly a year-long investigation, authorities now say Henry Tenen is Bridegan's killer, charging him with second-degree murder and conspiracy to commit murder. We know Henry Tenen did not act alone. Authorities have not named any other suspects. With the spotlight now centered on Henry Tenen, his close friend and brief roommate Jerry Ordway tells ABC News Tenen spent years living in a house owned by Mario Fernandez, the husband of Bridegan's ex-wife. Mario owns the house that we both had rented from him. The ATF and Jacksonville Beach Police, you know, raided my house, took me downtown to interrogate me for hours. Who is Mario? What does he do? I'm like, he was my landlord, bro. Mario Fernandez did not respond to multiple requests for comment. Shanna Gardner Fernandez denied having anything to do with her ex-husband's death in an interview last summer. Even though we didn't always get along, he was still the father of my kids. The Bridegan's family says they're relieved someone is finally in custody, but they still need answers. The news that this was an orchestrated event and that there are that this individual did not act alone is terrifying. Tenen lived on a whole other part of town that we never went to. There's not even a chance that Jared ran into him at a gas station. He was involved because someone else pulled him in. All right, coming up, hidden features on your